Welcome back to the OEN's coverage of the 2008 Bait and Stuff 100. We're under caution right now, uh, getting set for the restart. Why don't we look back and see why we're under yellow? Now this occurred when Mario Franchetti blew his engine and Ryan Saloon slowed down in reaction. Justin Parker tagged him and sent him around. He collected uh, defending champion Kurt Walker, Will Schwieg, and then uh, Scott Hamilton. Leave a couple other people as well. Yeah, I know Michael White got a big piece of that. Now let's go on board the 98 of Kurt Walker. There's the accident starting up ahead. There we go, and boom, into the 12. Kurt Walker actually uh, entered this race fifth in points. He obviously will not stay there. Here are all the drivers that were involved in this crash. Yes, this wreck seemed to uh, collect a lot more people than what we first thought. About a lot of the guys who were involved, their damage shouldn't really affect them a whole lot. Yes, yeah, some of them just have uh, minor dents at the most. We don't really know for sure, but there's only one way to find out. Just watch the restart and see which of the drivers involved don't fall back. Restart is just uh, moments away. Ali Riggs is your leader, followed by Kakashi Hatake, Roger Trilowski, Jeb Klinger, and Tristan Roberts. Terlowski goes up to the outside. Don't know what he's going to accomplish up there. It's going to allow uh, Jeb Klinger to sneak up into the third spot. Riggs has a pretty nice lead on that 32, and now we're on board the 6 of Jeb Klinger. He is really closing in on 32. There he goes to the bottom. I think uh, Klinger has done a pretty good job in silencing his data so far. He's right up there in the top 5. And I don't think he's going to be willing to give up the top five so easily. There goes the 32 on the inside of Alley Riggs. Roberts makes a move on Klinger for the third spot. There's a small gap between the 29 and the 32. Is the 19 going to slip in behind the 32? I don't think she has that in mind. She's challenging Hatake for the lead on the outside. It's probably not a good idea. Hatake is a lot of support. Three wide behind the leaders, Jared Anderson is coming into the mix. Anderson is not one race in about four years, but he's doing a pretty good job in uh, points right now. He's currently third. There he goes, three wide for the lead. As we're looking from Anderson's helmet cam right now, and if you look in his mirror, you'll see that he's being helped on the inside by Chris Johans, former series champion. Now, uh, Johans wants to lead this lap. It's followed by Dale Underwood, and there goes Underwood for the lead. And behind him, the Team Thunder cause, Anthony Griffith and Bob Steffens have hooked up. They're gonna try to find a way past Underwood. Just past halfway right now, and the battle is still very fierce. Underwood's starting to drift up towards the middle, but immediately closes that gap. Battle 3 car is carrying some new colors right now. Pocono Sleeping Pills came on board and will sponsor him for the rest of the season. His team will also run uh, Inglesby's for the r remainder of the year. Well, I'm surprised that Griffith hasn't given Underwood a challenge. Oh, there he goes. Griffith goes for the lead with the help of his teammate, Bob Steffens. Steffens drifts up to the middle of the track. There goes the 39. She sees an opportunity. Now the Huga in the green number 39. Steffens uh, immediately closed up that gap. There goes Steffens for the top spot. See a light blue car back there. I believe that's Vinny Enzo. He's just trying to hang on to the pack. Now we're on board the 39 of Hinata Huga. He doesn't quite have enough momentum to challenge Steffens at the moment. I think the 05 might actually be getting away from her. Well, if he is, he won't be for long because of the way the draft works here. Yes, as soon as one car breaks away, everyone just catches right up to him. Now the 39 is starting to reel the 05 back in. I believe she's uh, going to make a challenge right here. Look at Junior Harder and that 8 car is caught right up to the 39. All day that 8 car has been fast. Uh, Harden just passed Hugo for the second spot. Charlie Waters follows him. Charlie Waters has not finished the last two Smash Beer Elite Stocks races, and now he's in third, now going for a second. Oh, there's a crash right behind them! Stanton, uh, Cogdale Smith, and Underwood going to the wall. 
Bigsby Foot gets a piece of that. Mini Enzo blasts right by on the apron. No, Underwood and Stanton are stuck on the apron. Here's Elizabeth Cogill Smith limping away. Well, you can hear those RPMs on her car. She's struggling to get up to speed. This is the lead pack. Uh, under, I mean, uh, Junior Harder and beats everybody to the yellow flag. Ryan Baldwell takes the second spot. Well, that's where we believe he is. Uh, something might have gotten mixed up. Okay, this is how this whole thing happened. They go full wide. Uh, Stanton just carries Cogel Smith and Underwood into the wall. The Hatsuke got a piece of that. Oh, Allie Riggs and Jeb Klinger get caught up in that. Man, that's a really tough break for all those teams. They got a really good runs going. Especially Klinger. This is supposed to be his comeback race. Well, I guess all I can really do now is ride around and try to get the best finish he can. Well, in the meantime, let's take another commercial break. We'll be back shortly.